So when we are going uh, in the last video, we release the product into specific legal entities. After releasing the product, we have to mention some items, some features that uh, some we have to finalize the product, and these are necessary necessary fields. For example, for example, item group, storage dimension, tracking dimensions, and this information is not updated at the product or product master level. Then comes the item group group. And unit sequence group ID reservation hierarchy. This can be available used uh, if we uh, uh, enable the warehouse management in D65 for financial operations, sales information, purchase information, inventory, and bomb units. All those uh, units we have to define on the release product page. So if we go on a product detail page, there are some tabs which where we can mention the different information for example journal if additional information regarding the product can be updated on a journal and purchase order default order uh, purchase price and discount or uh, we can mention in the purchase tab then comes promote promote is related to commerce and coupon functionality is available there deliver all those parameters or information that can be used in direct delivery can be set in a delivery uh, detail page and sell sales parameter default sale order discount sales prices all for a specific item we can a product we can mention here front trade is used in the case that we uh, import that product from a specific origin of that product and then manage inventory default warehouse uh, tracking dimensions all those we can mention in a in manage inventory tab then if we use the product in the production or uh, we are going to create uh, consume this product or uh, or bomb related information we can mention in, on engineering and uh, there will be a, a module for uh, planning we plan the product forecasting all those things uh, related to those parameters we can update the plan and manage and manage products what happened uh, when we are using the uh, project accounting module and uh, this product can be used product can be used in manage product so all information will be stored here and where manage where how many manage costing and co costing related uh, information can be updated into manage cost and then comes a financial dimension final dim financial dimensions means the accounting information that can be hit either product purchase or sale or consume so all those information can be can be updated here and that can be copied into the sale order or purchase order warehouse man if we are using the warehouse management module then the default parameters or default settings we can store warehouse warehouse locations all those information can be stored in a warehouse detail page so, uh, country of origin there is possibility that we release product is imported from a different uh, region so all those information can be stored uh, on the release product on the foreign uh, foreign trade fast tab so this can be origin of a country and uh, all information top of uh, expiry date uh, of imported or exported product uh, we can update all those information in the product information setup product compliance and country of origin and we can create some rules there or uh, so all those information can be stored from a top fast app manage inventory and ha item hazard hazardous material all this information can be stored here and this information can be possible some key fields are material label indicate the what would need to be printed when we release the product uh, identification some material is information and then there will be possible information that in the case of emergency response what we have to do and packing material we are going to all instructions can be stored here So here is the pro uh, some scenario and we are going back to our D65 